Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY chain tensioner for your motorized bicycle. Here are the tools you'll need to get the job done. A jigsaw or bandsaw with a metal cutting blade, a good set of drill bits, an assortment of screws and nuts, four of each, rubber insulated electrical cable ties, you'll need two one inch size and two half inch size, a writing tool and various files, a drill or drill press, safety glasses and ear protection, and a piece of aluminum stock. This piece here is 1 8 inch thick by 1 and a half inch wide. Okay, so first you'll want to cut a sizable piece of your aluminum stock off to make it easier to work with. Next, you're going to place the stock against your bike frame and roughly trace out the shape of your crossbars. Doesn't have to be perfect, this is just a rough estimate outline of where you'll cut. Next, what you'll do is go back over the rough lines that you just created and make them a little bit thicker so that it's easier to see when you're cutting out the shape. Now we'll go ahead and mark where our holes will be drilled. This is where our brackets will later on be attached. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, the brackets are flexible, but you just want to make a few dots where you're going to be drilling those holes. Now go ahead and cut out the shape of your stock with the lines that you just created. Now we're going to be drilling our four holes, two in each side, where our brackets will later be mounted. I used a 17 64th drill bit, but you need to use whichever one seems right for the brackets that you use. Now we're going to start filing the edges that we just cut. It um, doesn't have to be pretty. What I'm doing here is just rounding off the sharp corners and filing down the jagged edges. Uh, that way we don't end up cutting ourselves or it doesn't mess up the paint on your bike. Now we're going to trace the shape onto our stock where our tensioner wheel will end up going. What I did is I took the original chain tensioner that came with the kit, I laid it on top of my stock and with a sharpie I colored in the area that I need to cut out. This positioning will depend on your frame and where you want your tensioning wheel to end up. Now what I did to cut out the shape was I took my drill press and I used uh, the same bit as earlier, the 1764. And I drilled three holes, one on each end and one in the middle. And then I took a file and I connected those three holes to make the shape. Filing down this slot is definitely a tedious task, but it ends up paying off in the end because it allows your tensioning wheel to slide up and down and you can adjust it over time. Next, you're going to place your aluminum stock in between your frame and attach it with the rubber insulated clamps. Make sure to securely tighten all four bolts.
Now attach the chain guide wheel to your aluminum plate. Make sure to use a flathead screwdriver on the back side to get it tightened into place. And that's it, you now have a new chain tensioner. It's a much safer alternative to the stock option because there's no chance of it getting thrown into the spokes while riding. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.